Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and coffee. This is actually leftover coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. I went this morning. Sometimes I just get an extra large, drink the hot, and then ice the rest. And that's what I did today. Mm, delicious. And then I'm going to my brother's this afternoon for a cookout and well, they're cooking out. It's cold, so I'll be inside. But we'll stop and get Dunkin' for everybody on the way. We all like Dunkin'. But today, I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. So, I also want to thank Kim B. Thank you so much for sending the boys some cat food. I appreciate that more than you will ever know. I was starting to panic. I didn't even think, like, ordering it on Amazon. I've been running around from store to store trying to find them their food. So I really appreciate you, and I hope you see this. But thank you so much. They love you. All right, Dollar Tree haul. And I got a lot of stuff here, guys. I don't know if it's a lot of... Let's get comfy. Um, also, I'm coming at you from a different place today. If you saw my vlog yesterday... I don't have any furniture. Friday, I was supposed to get my chair and ottoman, and I knew the love seat was gonna be on back order. They never called me or notified me, but I called them and found out, yeah, it's on. it was on back order for another month. So I just canceled the whole order, and I went to Macy's.com, and I ordered some, and let's hope that comes in. I totally understand COVID. I totally understand that things are delayed but be transparent about it. Stop selling things that you don't have and have no intention of having for months. That's my frustration. I ordered this stuff in March. End of rant. Let's have some fun with our Dollar Tree stuff because I got a good haul. Got some fun stuff here. I went and found a different bee bag and this one says, save the bees, protect the hive. I love it and look at the side. I love this bag. And I love my other one too. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of replacing some of my older bags that are gross. Uh, but right this second, what I'm doing is filling up things that need to go upstairs. So I grabbed that bag, which I love. I picked up one more of these for my next backpacking trip. Um, this is just the window shade thing. It worked out perfect. It weighs nothing and it worked out great for a sit pad um when we got to camp and i was going to use it underneath my pad but it it got really yucky and muddy and rainy so we used it in the um pit toilet to put our backpacks on top of so they wouldn't get gross and i said oh i'm not going to reuse that it's a dollar but this time it'll go on the floor underneath my sleeping pad and the back is like foamy and it will keep it from sliding around in my tent so this is perfect Grabbed another one. I mean, for $1, I'm sure it works great for window shade too, but I'm using it for backpacking. I picked up, <laughs> I actually bought three of these, just saran wrap. So when I had my furniture hauled off last week, at the beginning of the week, thinking I was getting furniture on Friday, part of the deal was with my trash removal company, I needed to wrap it up in plastic. So I used all my plastic wrap plus one of these and it worked perfect. So I just grabbed two more. I don't use a ton of plastic wrap, but when I do, it's nice to have it handy. So I grabbed two of those for householdy goods. And this is in no particular order. I just have a bunch of bags. I found the square um, wreath form, which for one thing, you I bought two. You could put these together. I'm not going to. What I am going to do with this, I think, I'm thinking about doing Christmas in July, first of all. So a week of Christmas crafts, which I do every year, I think, I feel like, but I'm doing it this year. And I'm gonna make a wreath out of this and wrap it up like a gift package for my front door. So if you wanna work, come along with me on this project in July, if you see one of these, I grab two just in case I make a mistake or I want two different ones, but grab one. Cause I could really do two packages like that but I don't know. I don't know how I'm doing it. I just know that I want to use this wreath form and it's the square and I want to use ribbon and greenery. So if you have one, great. If you want to work along with me, great. Grab one of these and yeah, we'll be, it'll be out in July. 
So I grabbed two of those. And I have been seeing them recently at my Dollar Tree. So that's kind of fun. I purchased um, some of this carpet cleaner. It worked pretty well. Typically, I buy the pet, uh, the Resolve pet, which I will buy more of because Wellington, my older cat, throws up. And it does an amazing job. But I was... Um, I used it to clean this carpet before my furniture was supposed to come. I shampooed the whole rug and I used that Resolve just to get up anything and it cleaned it perfectly. And I was like, I don't have any spot cleaner until I get to another store. So I just grabbed this. It works fine. You know, it's not as good as the Resolve, but I will tell you, you spray it down, you wait 30 seconds, you take a scrub brush, scrub up the spot, let it dry and vacuum and it works great. So I just grabbed one of these to have until I get the better stuff. Or I guess this not better, but the stuff that I, that I prefer. All right, and I found a new Dollar Tree. So if you're in the Columbus area of Ohio, there is, um, a, we have a shopping area called Easton, Easton Town Center. It's not a new Dollar Tree, but I just have not been in it. But I was out there the other day and I had time, so I ran in and I found a couple things. I mean, it's regionally you're gonna find pretty much the same stuff, but I did find some things I hadn't seen. Um, I'm typically not a fan of the Brims brand pork rind, but they have them in salt and pepper and I thought I would give them a try. Airplane, I'm just like, is there a siren on my street? I'm on a flight path. Anyway, I got the salt and pepper. The, uh, salt and pepper pork rinds they look delicious to me um if they're not yummy because i don't 100 percent love the brims brand i actually my personal favorite is mac mac but i buy aldi all the time so either one of those but this is fine and i'm gonna try it so i'm not i'm just saying i don't love it uh one of the things i found that i've not ever seen before is balloon glue dots and this was in the party section at that one store. I think this is for, yeah. So like, let's say you want to make a balloon um, rainbow or you want to stick them to something. It's just glue tabs and you get a hundred of them in here. So you could do like flowers or glue them all together to just make sure they stick if you're not using helium. So I thought this was fun just a try and I do have a picnic coming up in June for my work June birthdays we're doing a cookout and I thought I might get some balloons so I grabbed those because I saw them I also saw this LaCroix in the one liter and how many ounces is in a liter uh I don't know but it's one liter um I like mixing this with um the crook and marker it's crook and marker is a keto friendly adult beverage it's like a they call it a beer but it's more like a carbonated wine cooler if you ask me but it is technically a beer and it's made with stevia and i can have it obviously within reason but i bought one flavor it was margarita and it's not my favorite so i'm just gonna mix some of this sparkling water i really wish they had lime it's fine. I'll mix some sparkling water with it and that way it makes it more palatable because for $16 for eight cans, I'm not letting it go to waste. I will drink it. I just want to make it tastier for me. Like anybody cares. I found some more facial wipes. I gave the last ones to my cousin. She loved it and her makeup. But this is watermelon sweet mint. And I love these wipes, especially going to the gym and after workout and stuff. I just love these. They're so handy to have for like all the things, not just makeup removal, but you know, summertime grimes. I love taking them with me when I'm outdoors. And if I feel like I want to refresh, I just love having them handy. I wouldn't say using them anywhere but on your face and body. I've used them on my body before, but I wouldn't use them as like a toilet paper or anything like that. But I definitely use it on my neck and face and sometimes like wipe my arms and hands off and it just gives you a nice scent. And it's great for makeup removal. So I love that. Trash bags. Oh, 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 in the men's section, these are coffee socks. What is more appropriate for me than my coffee socks? We would make this our thumbnail. 
not that side. Let's hide something. I don't have a good background, guys. I'm gonna have to do something. I think I'm gonna decorate a wall over there because I won't have furniture for like three weeks, so. But anyway, socks. And they are coffee socks. And these are men's size six to 12. They'll fit me, it's fine. If they're a little big, it's okay. Um, they have the navy blue toe, heel, and cuff, which I love. So those will be fun for winter. I try not to wear socks unless I have to. Okay, now, let me pull out this stuff here. I'm a mess, guys. I, they're coming out with some really cute decor, just to like decorate, and I'm putting up one of my walls, I'm using the shelf, the floating shelves that, that have the, the rope that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm putting three of them on the wall behind you where I used to face and I'm putting some decor on that so I have some things for that not this though but this just says home and I think I'm going to get a picture of the boys and just put it on here and I want to paint this it's kind of dirty like I need to just touch up the paint on it but I love it and I'm going to put it like on my mantle or something and put a little picture of each of the cats in here they had home family and mom and when I first saw them at my original Dollar Tree down here in Reynoldsburg, they only had mom and I don't have a mom. So I didn't want to buy, I mean, I have one, but she's passed away. I didn't want a mom, but then I saw at another store that they had different words. So I thought that was nice. I like that. Could also be fabulous in like a wreath for your front door. And you could put like pictures of your family, your pets, whatevs. I liked it. I bought it. That goes upstairs this goes upstairs see i'm trying to be organized now i also found for my gift wrapping some more of these little bags and like i said they had all different ones these are just red or hot pink i guess pink triangles and then they had navy blue stripes and you get three bags in each so now i have three different packages to wrap little gifts or whatever I love them. I think they're adorable. And if anything, I'll use them at Christmas time because as the little kids get older, their presents get more expensive and smaller. I mean, I could totally, for my little cousins, give them a gift card. Typically, I've been getting them a gift card to Amazon and put some candy in here or whatever, and that would be a gift for them. So they'll appreciate that. And then my other thing is, um, I think I told you, I'm now on the board of my condo association. And I thought I needed to get myself organized for my meetings once a month, but I want to keep all the notes. So I grabbed one of these folders. I do have a hole punch. So what I'll do is come back from the meeting. I will hole punch my notes and stick them in here. There's only 12 meetings for the year. So this should be sufficient for that. And then I can put like loose documents up here if I need anything. So I grab that just to store everything and I just like the color. If it's not big enough, I can always get a second one. You know, do one for six months, one for the next. And then to take to the meetings, I grab this little notebook. Look, at this is rose gold. You know, I'm obsessed with these notebooks, right? But I love it. And it just says be fierce, but and I'm gonna take it with me to my meetings and just take notes at each meeting. If there's anything I need to do or follow up on, I'm kind of new to this. So I figure writing things down in my life is uh, mucho importante. So, and you know, I don't have enough notebooks. I don't, okay, I do, but I grab that. I love the colors, I love stripes, I love polka dots, it just, it ticked all the boxes and yes they're clashing it doesn't matter so i have this and i need to get it ready because my meeting's in a couple weeks and i have to dig out no i know where my hole punch is i know where my hole punch is so that's good oh 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 i also found i'm kind of excited and I'm wanting to say that maybe the red truck ribbon was not holdover from Christmas because I found a bunch of new ribbon. First of all, I love this. It looks like ticking, old fashioned. I love that. Very feels very boho to me, and that's kind of where I'm headed in my living room. So I grabbed that ribbon. These are all nine feet. And then I think this is so fun. My sister-in-law just got a camper, uh, my niece Sarah's mom. And this is camper ribbon, so I think this is fun for summer. Make a wreath or something. I think this is fantastic. 
And then for my kitchen, I grabbed lemons. Guys, I'm obsessed. I love this lemon. So I grabbed two. Did I say last time I don't need more Remid? Yes, I did. It's like notebooks. I can't help myself, but these are fun and I'll use them. So I did that. Oh, I have a mess over here, guys. Okie dokie, smoky. I found, they now have 10 packs of face masks and these are all tie dye. They had solid red, they had red and black buffalo check, they had black and they had black with white polka dots at my store. Um, I know we're getting into the phase where we're phasing out the face masks. I, I haven't made my decision yet and I think it'll be situational. Here in Ohio on June 2nd, they're lifting the mask mandates unless stores or businesses require it. So I want to keep them on hand. I am fully vaccinated, so that I'm comfortable with that, but I wanna follow the rules. So I decided to grab a pack, you get 10 of these, they're just the disposable ones for a dollar, throw them in my glove box and I will always have a mask with me in case I need one. That's kind of my theory. Um, or if anybody with me needs one, we will have them. I mean, 10 is a lot. I don't think I would need more than that. I still have my fabric ones and I'll still keep them in the car, but I thought this is perfect. It's resealable. I can grab one out if I need it. So I'll just stick it in my car. I don't, you know, like I said, I want to be respectful of the people that I'm with and the places that I'm going. And that's all. I mean, if they are asking me to be respectful, I can do that. Now, I found, I actually got one of these at the Dollar Tree to try on the cats. I'm not, I'm not hopeful that Wellington will eat it, but I've not tried the I Am's brand, so we're going to try it. This is pate, of course, and it's salmon, and, I, and it's grain-free. I don't know that he has a grain issue, but he seems to do better with grain-free food. So that's, you know, well, grain-free wet food. He doesn't really eat the dry food life with the animals but anyway I got this to try if they like it I can pick that up when I see it and oh I got these for my planner because Wonder Woman I mean who doesn't need to be Wonder Woman some days and I do and I'm gonna put these in my planner <laughs> and then you get I mean there's a lot of stickers in here you get the holographic ones, which is just one big page and one little, but then you get two full pages. I mean, there's a lot of stickers. Let me see if it tells me. 150 Wonder Woman 84. Um, it's one set of stickers. They had all different ones, but I needed Wonder Woman in my life. Right? Right? Am I right? I'm right. Just humor me. Humor me, humor me, I'm right. Okay, now for, I'm bagging up the trash bags here. Ooh, for my living room, I found these. They're wall clings, I'm not sticking them on the wall, but what I am gonna do, if you remember, if you've seen at the Dollar Tree, the house shaped um, frames, I'm gonna put some like gray paper, in the background and put some blue butterflies and frame that and stick them on the shelf. And I love this. My room is definitely has navy blue tone in it. And I thought this would be perfect and fun. So I grabbed that. You get a lot. It's a double sided. So tell me how many. It says think green, PVC free. It doesn't tell me how many stickers, but I'm here to tell you one, two, three, four, five, six. I think you get like 24 stickers on here of all different butterflies. So I thought that would be fun. And whatever I don't use, I will pass off to some of the kids. Um, for Sarah, my niece, my little vegetarian, I found Minute Southwest Pinto Bean with rice and vegetables. This is actually vegan. She also is a little lactose intolerant, so I stay away from dairy for her, but it's a one cup meal and I thought she would like to try it and I asked her and she said yes and it's ready in 90 seconds so that's perfect like little to go easy lunches for her when she's home or if she's here I have food for her and then I found some Loma Linda, Loma Linda. this is plant-based vegan as well and this one is Italian bolognese with konjac noodles oh I think she'll love that 
So I grabbed her this, it's heavy. This is actually two servings, but it's only 90 calories per serving. So if she ate the whole thing, now it is pretty high in carbohydrate, but that's from the noodles. So it's definitely not something I would eat, but it's definitely something she can have. So I thought, hey, I found some vegan stuff at the Dollar Tree for my niece. And again, she's vegetarian, but she, you know, you, I feel like I can feed her vegan. I can't feed her non. I can't. I can't do it, guys. I can't. Because she'll get upset. No, she won't. All right. I found today. This is the hardware storage case. I've not seen these at my store recently. They have the one with the big bump here, which I think is just a waste of space, if you ask me. But I have a tool kit for my house. It's like a ruler, a small hammer, some screwdrivers, a bunch of command strips. So what I wanna do is put my picture hanging hooks in here and command strips. I have a bunch of little ones and they're all over my tool bag. So I'm gonna clean it up. I may need a second one of these, but I think for now one will do. And I'm gonna package up all of the, tool, you know, all the little pieces. It's mostly little command command stickers and or command hangers and then the tool, the picture hanging kits. So if I can get everything organized in here, that'll make things better in the, um, in the tool kit. So that'll be actually maybe this afternoon, I'm still making my vlog, I will pull out my tool kit and organize it with you because that needs to be done. It's a mess all over the place. Okay, okay. I also found food wise some of these GIF to go. Now, this is not peanut butter I will eat because the ingredients are roasted peanuts and the second ingredient is sugar. I'm not eating this. However, um, with my pool open this summer and family and friends coming to utilize it, I figured I would have these on hand and then some carrots and celery chopped up when we have pool day and I can just throw the stuff in the cooler and bring it up and then everybody will have some snacks. And these are great to take and they are good until, this is good till April of 2022. Yeah, they're, and this is March of 2022. So they'll get eaten up this summer, but I want, I like to have snacks on hand when I have people over that don't eat keto. You know, I'm not, they're not going to like my peanut butter. They want the stuff they're used to. So for a buck, for three packs, I get two of those and that's great. And I could just take them to the pool. They can eat them up and throw away the trash. So that makes me happy to have found those. I also went ahead and bought the second camera for my tiered tray. And I think I might spray paint it if I find a fun color, um, maybe black and leave this, like put some painter's tape on it and leave the camera part white and spray the rest black and then maybe touch these up with some silver and make it look like a real camera. We'll see. But I thought that would be fun. So I grabbed the other one because I saw that at my store. I also saw at my store for my shelves in here, guys, this is now, you know I don't really buy the candles for the candles, but this is white amber scented candle. It has a little wooden top and a tassel, but look at the boho print. So what I'm going to do is sit this on my shelf. I'm not even going to burn it. Mm, it does smell good, so I might burn it. Maybe. If I do, I'm still keeping the container. They have this in all different colors, but I liked this kind of gray, uh, taupe and, I think it's taupe and black and gold. So I thought that was super boho for one of the floating shelves with some greenery. And then, cause you gotta like subscribe and thumbs up my video, right? So I grabbed one of these and I think I'm gonna make a friendship bracelet and tie it around its wrist and then put this on my shelf, probably with this and then some greenery in the middle. I just think these are adorable. They had the thumbs up, they, ooh, it didn't break. They had the thumbs up, they had a peace sign, and then they had a gold like fist, um, which I thought was really cool too. But I liked the thumbs up because it may be become my backdrop. Stay tuned. I should have got two of those. I found at my store, okay, please look at this. It's a wooden chipboard, but it's a map of the United States. I want to color 
every state that I've been to. I don't know, that just seems fun. And put make a magnet or something and put it on my fridge. And then I can put on here states that I want to go to and I can look and see where I've been. I'll use my own markers, not theirs, but isn't that fun? This would be great too if you have kids and you're going on a road trip and you're driving, you can mark the states that you're going through. I just think it's fun. And I like that it's just plain. Oh, I should have got two and then I could mark at Christmas time all the states we get Christmas cards from, but I didn't, so we won't. I got one and I will put a magnet on the back and hang it on my refrigerator. That'll be a fun little afternoon activity. I picked up another pack of these. Um, I love these for my planner and they come and go very quickly at my store. And Sarah loves them. She uses them as bookmarks for her books and marks things she wants to go back to. I just use them like in my planner. And this one will go in for my next year because I, ha I have a set out this year. And I don't use them as quickly as she does, but they're gonna go in my box for my next year's planner stuff. So I already put it away. Those are great too. You can write on them. Um, somebody gave me a fantastic idea that you can freeze these little meat and cheese sticks. So I grabbed three more and I'll just grab a couple here and there and put them in my freezer and then I'll have when I want them. Like I will have one today because I'm hungry and I'm getting ready to go. Those are fantastic. Now they sent, my store had back in stock the Evolve Oven Baked Biscuit Cookies for the dogs. This is peanut butter and berry. So it's like peanut butter and jelly. And my brother's dog, uh, Jody loved these. So I grabbed her another bag he can give her. They're not big at all. So you can see what size they are, but she likes them. Now Luna does not like hard biscuits, but um, Jody does. So I'll send those with my brother today when I see them. So um, actually I'll keep a bag handy and do that. So she can have her biscuits. So he can take those home to her. Nothing exciting for her, but she likes them and he doesn't go to the Dollar Tree. Um, some more home decor. Ooh, and some fun stuff. So I found in the makeup department, they had the L'Oreal Infallible Metallic. And I know CVS sells these for like $6.99, maybe $5.99, I can't remember, but I know they're not, they're not a dollar. So I got the two metallics, the pink and the copper, it looks like, or a bronze. Um, doesn't give it a name. It just says infallible paints. Oh, rose chrome. Oh, brass. So they're calling it brass and rose chrome. So I love those. I love a little metallic eyeshadow. And L'Oreal is a really good brand. So I grabbed two of those for me just to have with my makeup. I picked up another package, oops, sorry, another package of these, which are fantastic. If you guys make burgers in the summer or if you freeze anything, bread or whatever, you put a couple in between and it keeps things from sticking together. I love these. So I grabbed another pack because I was almost out of my other one. That will go in the living room. We're in the kitchen. I found they have some new signs out. Um, this one says hello, and the I love the green background. Like it feels very florally to me. So actually, maybe this with this sitting next to it, and that or some greenery will go on my shelf. I'm not doing anything to this one. I love the earth colors. I love the greenery in the background. I love it. Now, this one, not so much. It says family, which I like. I don't like this pink. It feels very baby room to me. So here's the fun fact. There's just a bunch of staples holding this on. So what I'm gonna do is pop the staples out. I will probably even paint this sign a different color and then put a coordinating, just put some um, scrap of paper in the back, just glue it down. And then I will probably hot glue the back on and then use my staple gun to attach it. And then I would, you know, have a different one, but I love it. It's 3D. It's, you know, it's that wood. It has some fun, almost modern feel to it or mid-century. 
and then you get this pink in the background which i don't understand and i green this one here the hello if i when i go looking for some scrapbook paper if i find some different green i may but i like that i think it looks very um it'll go good with like some greenery and stuff um i don't know how big these are and then they had um blessings i think and gather maybe but the backgrounds were weird on those too so i don't understand that but i did like the hello with the green so and i say weird but it just wasn't my aesthetic if you like the pink then you have to do nothing you have to do nothing but i do have to do something so got those and i've got just two more items because i can talk guys this is for sarah and i got one for me what this is is dr reuter it says never get hair again you pop this in your drain and it catches the hair before it goes down and girl has some hair and i got her two of them to see if they work so she just pops it in her drain and you know when your hair goes down she gets a clogging issue at her house this should catch the hair and then you just pull this out and you can either clean it off or just throw it away um so i got her two see how they work for her but i think they're pretty fantastic and it looks like it won't clog the water from going down and if she cleans it once a week then maybe she won't have any you know hair issues but i grabbed those for her because i think worth a definitely worth a try now i want you like to all hold on to your seat because we finally got the metal um just galvanized plaques they're called now i bought the arrow because my pelotonia that i ride in their uh, logo is the arrow and every year it's a different arrow but it is always an arrow and actually goes this direction because we're always moving forward so I grabbed three of these. I think I'm going to make two front door wreaths, one for me and one for my cousin. And then for my brother, I might just put his name or something on him um, with my Cricut. Painting doesn't work well on galvanized. I have figured that out long ago, but my Cricut will stick to it and I can make um, a wreath. So I grabbed three of those and then I found um, this shape, which I think is fantastic to make some kind of like I think I want to make some kind of coffee bar sign like coffee five cents or something cute like that with some coffee beans on it and hang this over by my coffee station because I think that would be fantastic or maybe coffee because adulting is hard but I'm so excited that we finally got these now my store had the hashtag or if you're old it's the pound sign they had the, one of these they had a few arrows and then they had um, tulips I didn't need the tulip. I like I like the basic sign that I can do anything I want with. And then the arrows are specific for my Pelotonia. And I like that they left them in the little bag so they don't get, well, somebody took one of them out, but that's okay. In the little bags. So we are all good. All right, guys, Whew, I talked for 33 minutes. So that is everything. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, please like, subscribe, follow, and I will chat with y'all later. Bye.